everyone, welcome to NTech Magazine. Today we're going to look into the science of aging and answer a big question. What are the signs in our bodies that are linked to living a long life? These signs are called biomarkers. We'll talk about what they are, why they matter, and how they might help us live longer and healthier. All the information comes from trusted, open access science sources, so you can count on what you hear. Let's start with the basics. A biomarker is something we can measure in our bodies that tells us about our health. When we talk about aging, biomarkers are things like molecules in your blood, certain genes, or even how fast you walk. These things give us clues about how your body is really doing, not just how old you are by the calendar. Why do we need these signs? Because your age in years doesn't always match how healthy you are. Some people in their 80s are active and healthy, while others in their 60s may have many health problems. Biomarkers help us see these differences and could one day help doctors give advice that fits each person. So what do scientists think? Most agree that no single sign can tell us everything about aging. The best way is to look at a group of different signs together. These can include your genes, molecules in your blood, how well your body works, your daily habits, and even your mental health. A group of experts in 2025 picked 14 important signs to use in studies about living longer. These include things like DNA changes, signs of swelling in the body, tests of how well you move, and checks of your memory and thinking. Let's look at these, starting with your genes. Your genes play a big part in how you age. Some people are born with gene types that help them live longer and stay healthy. Here are some of the most important gene signs. One, FOXO3, what is it? A gene that helps control how your body deals with stress and repairs itself. Why does it matter? People with a certain type of this gene often live longer. It helps protect the ends of your DNA, called telomeres, and lowers swelling in the body. Two, APO. What is it? A gene that helps your body handle fats. Why does it matter? One type, called APOE E2, is linked to living longer and having a lower risk of memory loss and heart problems. Another type, E4, raises the risk of these problems. Three, CERT genes, what are they? A group of genes that help fix DNA and control how your body uses energy. Why do they matter? CERT1, for example, helps your body handle stress and may help you live longer, especially if you eat less. Four, telomere length, what is it? Telomeres are like the plastic tips on shoelaces, but for your DNA. They get shorter as you age. Why does it matter? Longer telomeres are linked to living longer. Shorter ones mean a higher risk of getting sick as you get older. Now let's talk about what's happening inside your body. There are three main groups of signs that scientists look at. One, inflammatory markers. Key players, C-reactive protein, CRP, interleukin-6, IL-6, tumor necrosis factor alpha, TNFA. Why important? Ongoing low-level swelling in the body, called inflammaging, is a big part of getting older and is linked to being weak, getting sick, and dying sooner. How measured? Simple blood tests. One of the most exciting new tools in aging science is the epigenetic clock. This is a way to check your biological age by looking at small changes in your DNA called methylation. Why are they important? These clocks like Horvath, Hanum, PhenoAge, and GrimAge are very good at guessing your risk of getting sick or dying, sometimes better than just knowing your age in years. How are they measured? By looking at your DNA from blood or spit samples. How you move and live every day is just as important as your genes. Here are some of the best signs linked to living longer. One, cardiorespiratory fitness, CRF, measured by tests like VO2 max or fitness trackers. Why important? People who are more fit have a lower risk of dying from any cause. The future of aging science is about looking at all these signs together. By checking your genes, blood, how you move, and your mental health, doctors can get a better idea of how old your body really is and what you can do to stay healthy. Combining signs and using new computer tools helps make better guesses about your health and how long you might live. Smart computers are now being used to look at all this data and help doctors give advice that fits you. Imagine a world where your doctor can use a simple blood test, a fitness tracker, and a DNA test to give you a plan for healthy aging. That world is coming soon. But science is moving fast, and new discoveries are happening all the time. The big goal is to use these signs to help everyone live longer and healthier. So what did we learn? Living a long life isn't just about your genes or your age. It's about what's in your DNA, your blood, your muscles, your mind, and your daily habits. By measuring and understanding these signs, we're learning how to help everyone live longer and better. If you liked this video, please like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. If you want to learn more, check out the link in the description below. Thanks for watching, and wish you a healthy and a long life.